Hello, welcome back. That fantasy guy is spitting them facts. Break out the bus opinions and stats. Sleepers, waiver wires, and quarterback stacks. I'm here to win your championships and respect. And if you're in the money league, get your check. What's good, YouTube? It's that fantasy guy coming to you with another video. And I'm here to talk to you about that last pick. That last pick, you swinging. That last pick, you just swinging for the fences. And my last round pick, all this offseason, while I've been drafting for mostly Dynasty, then, you know, redraft the last couple weeks, has been Josh Gordon. And you see, came up big, as I told you in the Josh Gordon video. Now, you can't get Josh Gordon in the last round, but let me tell you another person. So, first, I'm going to talk to you Dynasty people that may have not had your Dynasty draft yet or, or in the midst of having a Dynasty draft because I'm having a couple as we speak, a slow draft. So, my last round pick has been Doug Baldwin. Doug Baldwin. Look, look, I know he retired. Or is he? I mean, is he? Because he put out a tweet that said, my watch has ended. I mean, you can take that as him retiring, or you could take that as his watch ended in Seattle. See, Doug Bowen had a number of surgeries, and when he totally recovered 100%, who's to say he might not feel like playing football again? Doug still was playing at a high level last year. So, look, what's it take? You know, you, you, you have like 30 roster spots in Dynasty League. What is it to draft in the last round? It's nothing. Nothing. So just go ahead and do them. Put them, put them in your, on your roster just in case he comes back. And bam, you got to answer the starter if he does. Now, for my redraft people, there are three players that you should target with your very last pick. So my first player would be Debo Samuels. You may have to wait a few games for him to get adapted to the system, but I think Debo Samuel can produce in the Shanahan offense. Next player is Justice Hill. I think Justice Hill has standalone value. I think he will get a number of touches out this offense, but if Ingram goes down or he's not doing as well as he should be, if Justice Hill gets to go, you already know this man going to be at least an RB2 because the Ravens offense runs so much. So put him on a bench. Another one right now is Dorwin Thompson. It's looking like Hyde. I keep hearing rumors that Hyde may get released. And just in case he does, you need to already have Derwin Thompson slotted in. Because if anything happens to Williams, Derwin Thompson will be able to slide in that offense and be an RB1. Now, I'm going to give you an extra one. And maybe you should pick this guy the second to last pick. At the moment, he has an ADP of 159.7 which is the beginning of the 13th round. So, I would say the 13th round, which usually is two rounds before the draft is over, pick Tony Pollard. And who knows, maybe he continue to go higher as the season goes on. But if your draft is soon, that's someone to target. Late round may not last till your very last pick. So, reach up and grab him a couple of rounds early just in case Zeke is not a go. The man is going to get a ton of work. And that's it, fellas. A lot of y'all are having y'all home league draft this weekend or the next weekend. So I want to wish all of y'all good luck. Hope y'all dominate y'all league. Hope y'all take some of my advice. I'm out.